Man, this car's a lot of fun, dude. I love this thing. Never gets old, dude. So much fun. All right, back. We're gonna work on the Z today. I don't know how much we're gonna get done, but my friend let me borrow some quick jacks. I'm gonna unload those. I don't know how to use them. We'll figure it out, but it's gonna make this a lot easier. Um, jack stands and uh, jack stands and a floor jack is terrible. If you work on cars, you know what I'm talking about rolling around on the floor. So the quick jacks they'll probably get us up a lot higher. So it'll be easier to pull a transmission. A few other things we gotta do. So. I'm going to go ahead and unload those out of the truck, and we'll get this carp in the air. All right, quick jacks are unloaded. He gave me kind of a crash course on how to use this. So I'm going to have to look up a few things online just to make sure. But I know that these are like your safety locks, and they got to go on the outside of the car. So... Technically, this would be the passenger side and this would be the driver's side because this would be on the outside of the car. So, anyway, that's that. I'm probably going to move these over because... So, I actually lied. Um, we're not going to get the car in there yet. But I will get these quick jacks going here in a second. But what we need to do is we need to put this other seat in the car because we've neglected to do that. And it's been like two months. Now I'm lying, it ain't been two months, but it's been a while since we put that one in. So we need to slap a seat in. I got some bolts. We need to get that out of the way and move forward. All right, so I need to drill holes for this bracket for the seat to sit on. And I assume that as long as I get that flush with that, that other metal bracket there, then the seat should sit straight. So, I mean, it's it's the passenger seat, so I'm not terribly too worried about it being completely straight because the passenger is just along for the ride for the most part anyway. But that little, see this? I made, a, I made a mark here. So I'm just assuming if I can get it in that mark pretty tight, then we should be pretty straight in that. I'm going to try to do my best to match it up with this one. I think that's going to be the real the real deal breaker on if the seat's going to be straight or not. As if it matches this seat bracket. So, um, I want to make a few marks, get the drill out, and drill some holes. Alright, so I opted out of using these smaller bolts I bought. I don't know that. I opted out of using these. <clears throat> They're probably fine, but these bolts look a little more safe. You know, in reality, they're probably the same strength when it comes to the steel bracket and everything. But, you know, somebody just looked at the seat and had these little bitty bolts. They'd be like, oh, man. So just for looks purposes, I would say that I'm going to opt, opt into using these. Um, just because it looks better. It just looks more safe. In reality, it's probably the same. But um, so I found two nuts that fit these. Cannot find a nut to fit these. This is my whole bolt stash. I've been digging through it for like 15 minutes. And I don't think there's a nut in here. Yeah, I just don't think there's a nut in here that'll fit this. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill it out, put the two bolts in it that I have, drill this one out for the third bolt, and we'll just have to wait till I can get a nut. And uh, I'll just put that nut in later because this car, I'm probably not driving this car in the next, I don't know, a couple weeks anyway. So um, it'll be fine. I'll put a bolt in it as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and just try to keep plugging forward, man. Get something done on this car. Cause we so like I said, I kind of want to keep this uh, symmetrical. This one's already finished. So... Uh, it looks like there's a little bit of a reveal. It's kind of crooked, so maybe I'll push that back a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball, see what I'm looking at. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this uh, reveal between this plate and the steel edge. So if I have relatively the same amount of steel 
at both ends, then it should be relatively straight or close enough. So I'll just push that over a little bit. That looks close enough. So I'll just go to my third hole here. I'll try to go dead center. I'll make me a mark. We went third hole in that one, but I'm gonna go second hole in this one because that kind of is matching our bolts up. Um, same way on this one, going second hole. That's third hole in that one. I think I'll relatively get that toward the center. So good news is, if we go and drill a bunch of holes in this and the seat's crooked, then we can just drill it again. We have a drill, we can drill another hole. So I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm gonna eyeball it this time drill a couple holes and uh, we'll put the seat on it and see if it works if it works great if we're staring at the windshield or the if we're staring at the window and not looking out the windshield then we'll have to readjust the seat accordingly and then it'll be a lot easier once we get get it in there then we'll know we need to move the brackets to the left or the right or however so that being said we're just going to go at it and see what we come up with lube up your drill bit always lube up the drill bit You'll burn them up if you don't. Sometimes when your um, drill is bouncing around on you, you can kind of score the area so it doesn't bounce around. Something, Let's see if that helps. Got that tight. Yeah. But anyway, nonetheless, I hopefully this content's getting better. Um, I plan on picking up another vehicle soon. Um, there's still a lot of videos I gotta film on this thing, but um, I plan on getting another car, kind of mess around with as well and then um my cousin just got in a car wreck so i gotta go haul the car for him so i'm loading up my straps i'm not gonna go get my car trailer load that thing up so hopefully by the time we get back maybe we have some more time to work on the z and try to get it done because it seems like every time i got a chance to work on it it's not very long so uh, it's getting kind of annoying but you know things happen you can't be upset for somebody getting in a car wreck you know so good good news is everybody's all right bad news is I gotta take a break from what I'm doing, but it's all right. So anyway, let's go get the car trailer, get this done. Every time I walk by it, every time I walk by it, it's just, oh, it's amazing. Sure is a nice car trailer. Wonders whose it is. Thing's nice. I'm playing, I'm playing. That's my, that's my trailer. But my dad's been keeping it for me because I can't keep it at my house, so. He actually pulled it up here. I just had to bring straps and my plate. So he's gonna haul the car. I'm just gonna help him load it. I'm gonna go back for doing what I was doing. So like, I was like, 
the back up. He's not the back up. Yeah, just pull straight forward. New drift car. Got it all strapped up. It's got hit pretty good. I don't know if the frame, if you got any frame or anything, but she got hit pretty good. All right then, I'm gonna roll back to the house. Looks like they got this square together. All right, we got that cleaned up good enough for now. Um, so a few other things I need to button up like um, get that seat over there, get the brackets in. Um, and then we have to transfer the seat belt clicker or whatever you wanna call it to the, the new seat. So I'm gonna do that. And uh, then we'll start messing with these quick jacks, I think, we will see what happens. OEMZ stuff, look at that. I guess that's like a little storage pouch or something. Pop this thing off wire the seatbelt alarm wire i guess so if there's a passenger in the seat you know, we're just going to do it anyway pull that back like that so i guess if anybody needs a pair of stock z seats these cloth ones are really nice all right so the video is starting to get kind of long um the video is actually starting to get way longer than i thought uh, so I'm going to skip a few things. We'll go ahead and just put these brackets on these seats and just slam it in and kind of just skip all that. And uh, we'll just get to getting this car up in there. Perfect. It uh, sits pretty straight. Um, it's a little tight on the door. You can't really see, but it'll be good enough for now. Right. So I think I'm cutting this video off here. Um, it's just got way too long and I haven't really got much progress done on the car. But anyway, I'm probably just going to hit a B-roll and um, see you guys on the next one.